What's up guys? This is the Riverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Tide War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So round of where we left off, uh, I am pushing up towards Paris to capture, in order to uh, capture this university and use it for our purposes. It's got some interesting troops inside the city, they've also got some uh, mortar batteries, so I'm going to want to be a bit, a bit careful how I approach this, but it's probably not going to be too much, uh, too different to what I do normally. So let's take them out. So my initial intention was to take Paris to try and sue for peace. Um, but I think I am going to change that strategy and instead sort of hold on to Paris. Um, not to, not necessarily to keep, but to just uh, delay the French. And then... Uh, well, really, I don't want to make peace because I want to capture their territories in North America, which we are still scrapping over. But I have a slap bang in the middle. Or full artillery slap bang in the middle. Damn, I've got a lot of... Got a lot of artillery. She put them off to one side is usually a better call. And then going through the centre, we can have our cavalry and four units of infantry. Because I'm envisaging potentially having uh, a breach here and a breach here. Then we've also got three units plus two marine units coming in around the flank. Let's focus on getting some of these walls knocked down. As our, as our artillery opens up. doing some good damage so we need to we do want to thin their ranks out somewhat before we push because at the very least they do have lots of militia militia isn't very good but in fort battles it's enough to hold you up and then the mortars back here start to do real damage it's just quick limey by the looks of it so we are being engaged by their artillery But it won't take too long for us to uh, take this wall down. It would be quite a nice uh, bit of damage, really, if we could dismantle the wall with these this amount of troops on top. Come on, Howard says I need you chaps to do work. Yeah, I think we're going to follow usual strategy make the breach start quick climbing the units that form around the breach make another breach same strategy over here but this quick climb unit is quick climbing battery is focusing on the 24th foot guards the other is focusing on this quite nice chunk over here um, but i'm going to speed up time because right now it's just my artillery blowing holes in the wall so there's not really a lot of this is the part of the battle where there is no clever strategy. Yeah, because these guys are using special rounds, they reload slower than my field artillery. I'm hoping... I'm hoping that some... Uh, Units form around this section of the breach in good order. Is it now? Is now the time? Close. Just right click again just to make sure everyone's engaging. Although we have lost two guns. So they should knock this section of the wall down. Yes. Many Frenchmen falling to their deaths. Mm 
Um, might even focus this section if they're going to stay there. But it looks like they're not falling for the same trick as previously and clustering around this section of the uh, the breach. We may want to focus on our second target. They have spread their cavalry out. So I'm going to have infantry going in one side, cavalry coming in the other, and cavalry pretty much running around and trying to find any any particular gaps that they have in their lines. Garrison guards, foot line. Line infantry. Here's still quite a good position to focus on for quick line. For quick climbing artillery, because that's a lot of units clustered in one area, like that. So even though it's not necessarily top tier units, it's still doing more damage. But I am questioning... Well... I want this... I want this second breach opened up before I advance my troops. One of the guns are bugged. This guy's not firing properly. They're firing their muskets at us somehow. You guys aren't going to push up yet. But I may need to push to provoke them to redeploy, which would put me in range of the mortars, in which case I have to start doing my... 8 inch European mortar battery, 6 guns, 27 crew. These guns are actually firing, despite the sound problems. Okay, so we might, we may have to, uh, push up our line again they're probably up to something funny which is why we've got this frame rate issue again mortar batteries pushing forward Bring up our flanking division. Let's push up our men. Still just walking and they're still just idle. That's going to likely change once these chaps get into position. There we go, now they're firing. push up our line. This line infantry, your job is to block the gatehouse. You guys climb aboard. Let's send you guys up here. In these final two units, one of you try climb the fort and this unit of marines stand by ready to push in through the rear. have engaged. To be honest, this poor battery might be better served actually trying to 
climb rather than block the gatehouse, otherwise they're going to get shot to pieces by this line infantry unit. So if one of you actually climb the wall, these other two units just get over here in general and hold. That's a bad, bad quick climb hit. Well, if they're going to not defend the breach in a manner that we might expect them to, then we're going to go in. units at the front are oh, I'm going to defend the walls they are just going to see ideally you would have gone over here rather than both at the same section oh that's going to be a bad quick climb no there misses that one might hit no we've dodged a lot of bullets there So my cavalry is very much going to be fighting on its own, but it's worth doing to, uh, it holds up their cavalry in the fort so they, they have a more difficult chance to respond. So then in my other breach, let's make sure I'm setting my men to fight these other fellows on the walls. Focus on the mortar batteries with my cavalry and send more cavalry in to fight them. They're starting to redeploy. So let's get my infantry on the right in. God, these battles are so unoptimized. Pretty much want to go engage them on the terms of their... Go engage their mortars first, first and foremost. We're about to get charged out through this section of the gate, which would be a bummer. Unless we successfully attack them. Oh no, they are skirmishers, so they might not... We might not be too worried about them. You guys engage the guards that are on the wall. You guys set up to engage this unit of foot infantry on the floor. Get these marines involved. And to be honest, let's actually go get, get you guys involved in this cavalry combat. Whatever shenanigans they were up to a moment ago have uh, resolved themselves. Get you guys in here rapidly. We should have this. This gate should be ours, because we're the only men on it. There we go. 20 second. We're engaged, and they're going to fire, hopefully, into the militia. The gatehouse has been taken. Push my infantry through the gate. Bring these cavalry around to support my other troops. You guys face off or support this engagement against the line infantry. And that's my quick climb coming into coming into effect. Not liking the odds on this fight here.
but I think we're going to be... Okay, you might actually get thrown into this fight in the centre, because we can't really afford to lose it. So you guys going to charge the light horse, same with you guys. in. The 22nd Regiment should beat this Militia unit. We're against a Militia unit, a Garrison Guards and Foot Line. And our units are quite depleted. So our Marines should have a good chance against those Cavalrymen. Some of our cavalry is broken in the centre, which isn't great. You focus on that unit, you focus on the 29th. Okay, if you guys focus on the guys that are in the centre... Bodyguards coming back in. But at the very least, they've got gendarmerie, they've got some of these hussars. They've got lots of stuff that's weakening. So yeah, they went down from 10 to 4 pretty rapidly. doesn't help, I don't think, is we're going to have to pull the Hussar unit out of here to go and engage this militia. Well, actually, maybe not. They might be able to take themselves out. Get my re-engage my Hussars against their general. If we can kill their general, we might get a... Uh, ignore that militia unit. Ignore that infantry unit. Focus on killing. You guys should be capable of killing their general. You guys might align yourselves to engage the troops coming in. Kill the general. The general has been destroyed. Focus on these units that are currently not engaging us. These guys get off the... Actually, they might stay up there because they're, occup they're occupying the 37th Regiment. Kill that last general's bodyguard unit. I might reorganise these lines to f take position on the central square. You guys hit the 64th on the flank. These guys are just... Keep you guys in the middle. You guys charge this militia unit. In which case you guys can then pivot around to engage the 59th. As our assaulting divisions have uh, not done stupendously well. Oh, damn, they made it to the central square I 
you guys keep firing. Quick climbing howitzers. I mean, you're getting a bit close to my men with those shots. Then, come on, don't get these stupid. You guys tie them up. You're tying up the 59th, which is a good job. You guys better go charge the 37th. You guys better get down off this wall as well. We're quickly. Okay, you guys come back and help the 64th. You guys go fight the 59th. Let's bring my general in. Change my target to just hit the 60th. Charge the 98th as they're on their way. We don't want these guys to make it to the central square. You guys intercept the firelock armed citizenry. Bring my hussars out. You hit the firelocks. So I was hit the 59th. Need to stop these guys from getting upset. You guys charge the 59th. Four. That was a close run thing. <laughs> Just, yeah. Really comes down to knowing. Knowing what matters at the end of the day is that central square. So the lower classes really hate us. So let's exempt them from tax, which won't help, but at the very least we can spend some money on replenishing our troops and then whatever we can on, at least we can repair the Royal Academy. But the important thing is we now get access to these advanced um, advanced technologies. So let's get Orleans, 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 working on them um, pretty rapidly. Can march these line infantry guards up to France. Probably march this infantry up to France as well. At the very least, we're Catholic, so there aren't too many religious problems, although there's lots of seminaries. Which. Well, a lot of religious happiness. Do I risk knocking one down and building it up as a, as a happiness building? Because right now I've got a lot. One that's four in Paris. Hmm, bit of a risk. Um, okay, but what I also want to do is take this army. We can't afford to have a good army like this sat doing nothing. We need to push against French territory. So even though it is leaving me a bit exposed, I mean, I didn't mean to take all of you, but whatever. Um, I don't want to take... I don't want to leave my front open completely with New Spain, because they could just declare on us pretty quickly. But I want to get this army. Okay, go sit in dry dock over here. I would like to spend some money on building up the garrison here, probably with some recruitment from Caracas to help boost to help boost their holdings obviously we're at war with the Mughals which isn't good but yeah I want to go hit Savannah make some gains in the Americas because right now our main holding is Boston which is looking very shaky with these troops coming in and what might be tempting actually is to take 
So if I fight and take Montreal, uh, you, it's this guy and this guy. These two portraits. Which I believe is you. And no, not you. This guy. So it brings in these two armies. So we could attack Montreal and take it and then potentially make overtures for um, another piece. Maybe with France. But I think I would need to... T I would like to take Montreal. Montreal first to push all their men back south of this river. I think it's probably a good idea. Let's go and knock out Montreal. I would like more... I would like more territory uh, in the Americas, but I don't think I'm going don't, to... Don't think I'm going to get it, and I'm going to need to be careful about spinning too many plates at once. That's quite a real risk, I think. I am open to taking Paris and then kind of not abandoning it, but just, you know, it becomes a I'd like to keep it, but strategy. So I'm going to foresee we might have some deployment, some redeployment challenges, and that's OK. So I'm just deploying everything in a fairly normal position. Nope. Good. Fortunately, they're all being reinforced from over. Some up here on the top right, and some up here centre left. In which case, then, uh, it looks like they may be forced, due to sheer lack of firepower, to uh, come towards us. So let's stretch our line out a bit more to get some more firepower and the howitzers are going to open up there they go so these poor um, citizenry units is getting hit the militia is getting hit good yeah I would like to hold Paris but I, mm, I need to so the problem with in North America, which is why holding Paris might be untenable, is that I have now recruited everything that I can recruit from Quebec. They're down to a thousand people in the city, and that's it. Boston has more, but they are... They are, um, not... They're not in a safe area. Yeah, and right now I'm just quite content with a, f with a fairly cheap battle to take a French territory. So the AI only ever really takes um, demands of surrender when they've suffered a big loss. And I suspect Paris may be enough to induce such a, uh, such a decision. But I think I would need... I think I would need... Uh, to add some extra extra damage. Okay, got 24 pound of guard artillery sat at the back, which might slowly pick off some of my troops. I'm gonna halt fire at will with this infantry. So I can charge in my cuirassier. And destroy their general. Bring my dragoons in for good measure. Good. I mean, he's confident, but his men are falling rapidly. It is definitely his his cavalry that are dying. Mm -hmm. 
go. General destroyed. Pull back our cavalry. These poor souls have just walked through cannon fire. Only to be met with a fully ready battle line. Some of them have no experience. Some of them have plenty. One, one volley. And that was that. Well, it looks like they are going to continue marching in, which is lovely. My field artillery may focus on their artillery. Oh, look at them all marching in, rank by rank. That's delicious. Got one more general's bodyguard. The true general is... Well, that's the general of one of the reinforcing armies. But I hear a cavalry charge. Okay, all our howitzers focus on the general's bodyguard. Same with my artillery, because they're coming right at you. Too late, I've missed all of it. Oh no, one round shot got him. The other two will probably be reloaded before they get in within range. Well, they definitely will be reloaded. But what I'm curious about is, can I get a round shot volley off? And then reload for canister shot. Yep, there goes another eight cavalrymen. To be honest, they're probably not going to make it past the infantry line. Switch to canister shot, just in case. Like I said, my infantry is ready. They are... Sometimes the AI just does make really stupid decisions that uh, campaign strength isn't just isn't enough to fix. Or campaign difficulty isn't enough to fix. Like, um, making the battles, you know, very hard rather than hard would not change would not change this. It wouldn't change the AI making dumb decisions, like to march into your... to suicide their general right into your artillery. This Firelock Armed Citizenry is back. Yeah, the volleys come in. Yeah, they weren't going to stand for that, not for very long. Try and fire onto opposite sides of the field when it comes to artillery support. Because they how it's a this Howitz team will get significantly better kill ratios firing over here because the area of effect of a quick climb shell is sort of egg-shaped. So if you imagine going through a line, you take out a chunk, but going uh, parallel to the line you kill significantly more men. So that's why these guys are going to fire over on, that, on the right flank. The ones on the left are going to get... The ones on the right are going to fire on the left flank. The ones on the left are going to fire on the right flank. So this native mercenary unit will probably die. Lost half their men at the very least. So you can pretty much ignore them now. Fire on the next unit. That's a great target for you. Those the 48th Regiment of Foot. But it looks like they are trying to chase after my cavalry. So let's get my cavalry behind the line to force them to run at me. They're doing it over here as well. I don't want them to avoid my cavalry. I don't want them to avoid my back line. I want them to come right at it. Those round shot men who are coming straight in. A 
collecting more and more of my line units. It's time to get into, into range. The native bowmen auxiliary are a concern. I'm going to bring my cavalry back out to engage the bowmen. Now you guys engage the 58th. Okay, lots of these infantry units are going down. We're probably going to lose a good number of men due to bow fire on the flank, but that's why we've got our cavalry. We're just going to have a grand old time. They're going to kill some of our dragoons before they get in, but my dragoons are going to have a lot of fun with them. Actually, you focus the 55th. Actually, you focus on the 39th. Yeah, they're actually winning. Yeah, let's bring a another cavalry unit over here. Yeah, they managed to see off a unit of colonial dragoons. In which case, then. You guys can fall back on yourself so you don't get too isolated. And then this flank can begin to curl in. Let's probably bring my other cavalry down here as well. They have returned. units come back of colonial militia so my crassiers are going to put a stop to them my dragoons are getting shot to pieces again charging into the bowmen Charge them, they shall. There's another unit back here. It's a native bowman auxiliary. Musketman auxiliary, I should say. There we go. Yeah. Cursiers, recovery didn't do so good. Ten dragoons remaining. Get our houses to provide that support. They're engaging these irregulars within musket range. I mean, they're very. They lost a good chunk of men, so I imagine they were probably getting shot at by the getting shot at by the musket armed infantry. Push you guys up. Pouring fire into their troops. Ooh, quick climb inbound over here. I think some good damage. There we go, they're shattered. So let's bring my cuirassiers over to go hit those gunners that are sat hiding. Now these guerrilla mercenaries are within close range of my massed musketry. charge my dragoons into their infantry so I can probably pick new targets okay let's bring up my musket line if the Artillery is now going to chiefly be firing round shot. They can fire that over our heads quite safely. Good. 
good, they're wavering. Do some good damage to their guard artillery, go after that unit of militia. Push up. The guerrilla mercenaries have put down stakes, but it's not going to help them. Our field artillery is going to focus fire them. These poor mercenaries. They don't stand much odds. Clear them out. Finish them off. Keep the line pushing up. Nice and aggressive. these mercenaries are going to be uh, in our battle line. Well, ostensibly they're going to be in our battle line. Good. Quick claims cleared them out. Switched to round shot. To enhance our engagement ranges. Did they deploy stakes? Can't even see the stakes. The 10th Regiment of Foot is ready point blank range but if we do make peace with France it will very much be a temporary one engage fire May as well let my the limited cavalry I've got um, have some fun. So you're chasing down the native bowmen, so you're probably not going to get in on the the action up at the edge of the map. But you can try. My cuirassiers are having a go. Go on. There's only eight of them left. One left. Dealt with. They'll probably get away. Yeah, they've got away. And this other unit will also likely get away, but they actually, they've, they're going to take some damage because they've not run in a clever direction. Ah. It's a good win, though. So now, this is the time. You know, they've been pushed back. They've been pushed back. The garrison's taken. Now, th this might not work, but usually this is the sort of thing you need to do. Peace with France. They hate us for it, which is understandable. But the idea is we have secured this territory safely. And also, that probably means you are able to march up and it hit Moose Factory without too much uh, risk. There we go, let's push them all out of our territory. It's given us a bit more breathing space to uh, hold on to what we've got. I mean, it's still going to be a tough nut to crack, but that's do, that is why I want to keep this army down here ready to launch onto into Savannah. Now the now the key is do we can we hold on to Paris? Because I mean they want us to delete their university, but I don't want to do that. They may declare on us very quickly afterwards, or soon, but then again, we kind of want to do, want them to do that. Mainly I would like, I would very much like the uh, central alliance between Sweden, the Ottomans and Prussia to fall apart. But 
but I don't think that's going to happen. We do have the opportunity to send men into Cairo. Oh no, so we're going to go take hit Tripoli, that's where we're going to go. They booted us out of their port, but I think we might march or boot us out of their port at fourth rate. Let's see how many fifth rates we can destroy. Eh, only one. Disaster. We demand a military alliance. No, again, they don't want to be angry with... I don't want to gain the ire of Sweden. Right now we've got a good thing going. I don't want to... Uh, to risk it. Then there go the Greeks. Catholic missionary in France. Good stuff. Can you stop them all from being angry with me? Hold you into a coaching in. Okay, our troops are nearby. The garrison argument's probably quite weak. To be honest, I might just combine uh, enough of these together so that I've got five spare infantry slots. Oh, it looks like I'm not going to get that. You guys into the city. Oh, too bad. So the, so the situation's actually got worse rather than better. We will have to hunker down. The academy's been replenished. Let's replenish the army board. To be honest, let's just replenish across the board in Paris so we can be re ready to recruit new troops. Let's hop over to the Americas. I want the Governor's Palace to be finished. You guys replenished and get down to the border. Well, this border area here. The actual town itself doesn't matter too much. Let's get Quebec's economy firing again. Keep you marching towards Moose Factory. Then Boston. Boston is where we're going to be doing a lot of recruitment. So I think we do need to hit the, the army board first. Not that we can do anything else. Can't recruit any ships. We've got a shipyard down here. So let's send a militiaman down to Plymouth. These four militia that are being recruited up here can move south towards Falmouth. Can't fix the lumber mill. One more turn to get steam engine factories. That's pretty awesome. And um, what I'm going to do is looking at the timer. I think I'm going to win the episode of there. Because <laughs> I've got an hour episode next. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Knights of St. John. Cheers everyone.